from the Bad Monkey Studios in the fabulous Amish country, the B Team with Corey and Jim. So you're telling me that the average like ape or whatever it is shares is it ninety nine percent of our DNA? It's pretty really high. close. It's super it's close. It's pretty high. And they're super smart. For a, yeah, for an animal. Yeah. S- s- just a quick question then on that. Why <laughs> are they shitting in diapers? <laughs> Why? Like okay. I said, they're, they're, they're communicating. Some, they can do sign language, Bad but they can't yeah. poop in a toilet. I don't know. Yeah. Well, probably because it's it's. First of all, they're like, D- bro, I live outside. There's no need for me to use a toilet. I shit and throw feces at people. <laughs> so yeah. there needs to be an incentive. Like if you were to say to a monkey or an ape, excuse me, chimpanzee, let's say. Let's just pick one out of the, out okay. of the group there, out of the great apes. If you were to give him fruit every time he used the toilet, guaranteed that motherfucker's be using a toilet. <laughs> guaranteed. You're telling me in all of these programs where they've – you Usually, taught them to to do sign language and all that. Nobody's thought, you know, let's see if we could just like have one live in an apartment by itself. Teach it how to cook and clean up after itself and and poop in a toilet and maybe take a bath every once in a while. Because the, the, they're saying like these things are just they're just this side of being us. They're just the right other on the razor's edge. Of no, being human. A, I think they're right on the like the, the raw steel that you would use to make a knife. <laughs> That's how close they are to yeah. a human being. Okay. Uh, I think you could get – I don't want to put any ape around fire because that's just going to be a disaster. So, like, if you're, like, talking about cooking its own meals, maybe, like, they just supply it with fruit and stuff, maybe some, some lettuce. You're big on the fruit thing. They like fruit and popcorn, man. So what are they picking out of each other's head? Ticks. That's not fruit. Bugs. That's, that's protein. protein that seems to be a treat because they'll they'll that's work protein. that all day. Oh yeah, they'll work in there all day. So well, you don't want to. You don't want one of those things on you. You know what I mean? Okay, let me do this. Let's let's put a. Um, did you say great ape? What are we dealing with? Yeah. Chimpanzee. Yeah. Well, the, I said pick one. I said you could just okay. pick one. Let's say chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. We, we the, let's that's... sit a p- chimpanzee in front of another chimpanzee. <laughs> oh my okay, God. the one that's known to be you know. Lousy, with lice. Is that what you call it? Would they have sure. a little lice? Lousy. Yeah, I don't know. You sit. You sit the lousy uh, chimpanzee down in front of of a hungry other chimpanzee. <laughs> okay, and and a bowl of grapes beside that. Would is he is he going for the mites? Is he going to do that? I don't know. Or is he going to go for the grapes? Good test. That's a good. Te- we should uh, get a hold of what's her name. Good all. She does <laughs> mostly gorillas, but. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure she'd she'd dabble if we if we asked her to do that. We're gonna need to cut a check because she's like, yeah. I'm not doing that for free. I'm just saying because that's an interesting thought though. Well, my son, he keeps saying that instead of having kids, he's gonna have monkeys. And we were talking about nice. how much they stink, and I said and they, they have bite. to wear diapers. And then I thought about it: why do they have to wear diapers? If you can teach them they... to do sign language and math and and paint pretty flowers. You could use it. You could potty train easily. I think just the ones that wear diapers mostly are like the baby ones, because everybody knows from the one chimpanzee that ripped that lady's face off. When they start yeah. getting older, like especially chimps, you don't want them hanging around people because they're going to start getting real face rippy, yeah. and you don't want that. Oh, that okay. lady. Yeah. yeah. Did you see her? Yeah, ha- do interviews her. after. Yeah, when her they face took that got... thing off, and she's like, Come on, man. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know it was I know. horrible. Yes, it was a night. It was a. Tr- I thought like the way they were playing it up. I thought yeah. that the reveal. I was yeah. gonna be mine. <laughs> yeah. And then it looked like Mr. Potato Head, and I was like, yeah. oh, okay. I was like, so you saved her, but, but she, yeah. that's that's the best that they could do. Yeah. For cosmetic surgery. I was like, okay, well then I I was I clearly <laughs> misunderstood uh how good our med- medical staff is when it comes to cosmetic surgery. Yeah. I thought they were way better. <laughs> Apparently no. Our insurance. She must have had horrible insurance. Yeah. That's all I can say about <laughs> you that. You got the B team doctor on that one. They're like oh, what's that? Uh let me see the yeah. HMO. Mm, <laughs> okay. That's gonna be Fred's. <laughs> Fred, uh, what? I'm up? Okay. Hang on. Let me just. 
little bong hit. <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Let me get in there. Uh, you're out of network, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fred's a great doctor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He lost his license two, three times. Tops. Yeah. That we know of. But yeah, I don't know. We are the B team. B tism. I'm Jim. A gentleman sitting across from me wearing the captain's, captain's hat. hat. Wow. Yeah. For the rest Airline of the show, hat. anytime that I speak, uh, this is your captain speaking. <laughs> No. Giggity. I, I'm not going to. No, g- <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That's how you look like, man. Yeah, I know. That is how, it's pretty dope. Uh, should we tease the what we just did? Or no? Yeah, tell, Maybe yeah, later. tell them a little something. Uh, well, this is what I wanted to do. I didn't get to do it because I forgot about it. But um, we just we just did a photo shoot uh, mm-hmm. on, on some groundbreaking. For the groundbreaking. That we have the on, the, on the new studio mm-hmm. uh, that we got coming. And needless to say, the photos, flawless. If sure. I if I may, I'm a little I'm a little biased, sure, mm-hmm. but uh, they're pretty pro. But what I wanted to do that I forgot about was the European understash. Oh, you know, hashtag yeah. Uh, TM. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a little dis- I'm a little disappointed in myself for that. But we did get a Rocky three freeze frame ending. Pretty stoked <laughs> about it. Yeah. You'll see them. We're gonna yeah. put them out on Facebook. Well, let's just say it started out beautifully as a professional oh, yeah. groundbreaking, mm. and then devolved into as fisticuffs m- as as these things do. Are, yeah, most likely, you know, most of the time yeah. with us anyway. I'm not when, normal when people. you're hammered. Sure, like, not, yeah, not normal. I still got a raging headache. I should probably drink some more. Yeah, <laughs> just to knock that out. You know, that's what most people do, right? When yeah. you're hungover, little hair of the dog, right? But well, look for those. We're going to put them up on Facebook. Uh, I find them quite hilarious. Mm-hmm. And I think you will, too. Oh, You like that? Yeah. Talk that was about soft. teasing. Mm. <laughs> I think it moved a little. <laughs> I would like to talk about something else besides great apes. We've touched on those a lot. We should be... What are, what are, the, what are apes? What are they called? People that study apes. Ape, a- Aperians. Ape theorists. Mm-hmm. That sounds about right. Mm-hmm. That's what we should do. Atheists. We're atheists. We are atheists. <laughs> Anywho, what do you, what, all right, let's get off apes. What do you got? Let's fire I, it up. I want to talk to you about the most fun way to travel because Unicycle. I am planning. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for that. Next. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. No, let's uh, talk about it because I, fa- I saw something today that I found existed that's going to triple hospital visits this year. I don't know if it just came out, but if it did... Uh, for sure, there's going to be several, several. Uh, this is worldwide <laughs> hospital visits due to this device. More so than the hoverboard. Yeah, about the same. About the same. Yeah. Yeah. About the same. Yeah. We're going to talk about the most fun ways to travel: train, plane, ship, or automobile, or other. I guess. Let's now, do other. We'll do other also, because I'm planning a trip uh, with my wife for our uh, wedding anniversary. <laughs> yep. Anywho. Uh, well, let, let me just say this. I personally have not done uh, ship. Well, that's a lie. I haven't wow. done train. I've done plane, ship, and automobile. Now, I didn't spend a lot of money on my ship trip, <laughs> and I got a little weirded out because I get motion sickness. Sure. So uh, if you're going to go on a boat, which you've been on a boat, you're in the Air Force. <laughs> Uh, when you are on a boat, everything is pretty still because they're huge, you know, unless you're in like a raging ocean. But when you look out the side, everything's moving. So it's for me personally, I do, I have horrible, I, I, I don't know if it's what vertigo, whatever you call it. When that happens, my whole body's like, fuck you. And I just want to yeah. puke everywhere. Yeah. So a ship for me wouldn't be bad, but I need, I would have to have a cruise ship, you know. With other stuff to do to keep me occupied. Oh, like like a carnival. Yeah, like, like, like they a, got basketball courts, yeah, a yeah. mall. Yeah. They're like a floating city. They're you just should so, skeet off the back of it. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, you would. I but I would be all dizzy and stuff and just uh, swing out <laughs> towards the guy launching the, launching the clay targets. I'd pop around <laughs> off at him. My bad. That's on me. That's on, That's on Leo. Leo's li- Long Island iced teas. Ooh. Leo and James Cameron did not warn me about this. When they when they filmed the Titani, 
Is it true that you can no longer hit golf balls off those because they were going in blowholes? <laughs> Probably. I Is would that imagine true? that's a safety concern. I think I think that decimated the whale population. Porpoises or whatever yeah, were having the poor some pie. issue. Poor pie. But uh yeah. I've not done a ship. I like a travel, like to go right. to like, you do, yeah, I've been in a full blown yeah. carnival type deal. Yeah. And I've not done a train. Neither so I. well I've done a train. I've never been on a train. That's a lie. I've been on a train wow. too. God. I keep forgetting things. You keep but lying. Then it's because <laughs> what am I what am I, one of those liars? Uh <laughs> no, but I forgot that. It wasn't because I, I – when, when I'm thinking about taking a trip, I think about, um, you know, like, like an extended uh, stay on one of those things. Like maybe an overnight trade trip or an overnight ship yeah. trip or a couple-day yeah. ship thing. Right. Because I've taken a plane ride that lasted over six hours. You know, that's a fairly extensive sure. flight for some people. For some people, that's like – they're like, I fly to fucking Australia every weekend. So yeah. suck it. Mm-hmm. Uh, automobile, yeah, I've done road trips. What do you? Let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. For your anniversary, what's the destination? Do you know yet? Have you picked out a spot? No. Oh, it's so a, this is a, uh, there's a, there'll be restaurants. So this is a choose your own adventure for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. You're All gonna right, do up a see. trip tick for okay. us. Let's trip tick it up. Do you like but climate? What do you, what kind of a climate are you looking for? I, I don't want snakes. Well, the I got bad news. They're everywhere. They're America's epidemic. Forget about Zika, okay? Snakes. Mm. They're here and they're real. Okay. But I can get you a What about a, a less, cold weather destination? That you like a little you want a little a little colder? Yeah. So you can Why bundle not? up smart. Yeah. Blankets. I want a snowmobile and uh, Ooh. a little snowboarding. Okay. Because the wife, you know, she's a uh Snowboard. She does that. So, oh yeah, yeah, she do. Do you? You yeah. dabble? No, I have a snowboard. You just use it as like a sled. I, you just sit on it. I just said I have a snowboard. You're the dude, mm. which is like I've skied once, and that's all I need mm-hmm. to ever experience in the world of skiing. Let me tell you why. <laughs> I know we're diverting a little bit, but I was going great on the little bunny hill. You know, sure. You could you could clearly see your path. Not a whole lot of people in front of you. Awesome. So somebody's like, well, let's do one of the easier hills. Let me tell you something about those, okay? They're not that easy. They're huge. And people who also suck at skiing fall in front of you. And when you don't know how to stop correctly or fast, you got to bail out. Now, what are those after the bunny? What are those, like the badger or what are they? Is, do I, don't they, they, they have like a, I don't know if they have an animal okay. name. They were like a blue, like a blue. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. I all I know is that every serious, like seriously dangerous ski, like route, is always the black diamond. Always. Yeah, I've heard that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like every time you hear, you yeah. hear anybody talk about, yeah, I went on the black diamond. Like it and sounds cool. It yeah. sounds badass. You're like, did you get one? Like, do you get a black diamond at the yeah. end if you make it? Because <laughs> I'll go on it. I'll probably hike most of it though. I'm gonna kick those ski boots off because I'm not skiing that. But yeah, I think the blues are the worst ones, or the easy ones, allegedly. I'm not gonna say they're easy. I like no. the flat parts, man, because that's you know that's like that's like basically being able to propel yourself on a sled. Yeah, you don't want me to have sleds on my feet. I I can tell you that right. We're well, not going down a hill. No, because no. you know. Nope. That's a lot of speed mm-hmm. that you can pick up pretty quick. Oh yeah. Especially yeah, when your only move is the yeah. is the speed skier that's about to hit that fucking <laughs> ramp, man. <laughs> So you're doing like 90 down yeah. the hill, and then you got to bail out because some three-year-old tripped right in front of you, and you're like, I don't want to be tried for murder yeah. or negligent homicide. So, yeah, you know, I'm a crash on purpose. Not a lot of fun. Yeah, because you know how many heads are knocked off per year? At least two. Yep. At least. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, here, That's every year. Well, and here's here's the awesome part about this ski trip. We got invited. Me and me and Maddie got invited to uh, Holiday Valley. Yeah, I want to say this yeah. in New York. Uh, mm, the our city. friends had uh, her aunt had a uh, had a uh, I want to say it was a maybe a condo. Next is condo uh, that was at the bottom of the hill. It's like right up, like a walk to the little ski resort. So they invited us, and I had never done it. Maddie had before. She, you know, snowboarded and all that stuff. 
So I was like, I'll try it, you know. Let's give it a shot. An experienced skier that came with us, first hill out of the day, breaks his arm. Oh, man. Which doesn't put me in a good mindset. I'm Mm -hmm. like, that guy's done this before Mm -hmm. and likes to do it. Still Mm -hmm. broke his arm. That doesn't fare well for me. He got cocky. He probably did. Yep. Me, I live on the side of not danger, so I'm... Mm -hmm. I play it safe, that's what I'd like say. I don't walk on grates on the street. I'm like that dude from Along Came Paul. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? <laughs> I'm forgetting his name. Ben Stiller? Ben Stiller, there it is. Yeah. yeah. He was one of those guys. I think that's that movie. I'm not for sure. Exactly. But anyway, let's let's bring it back to why we're really talking about this. All right, Snow Destination. We're coming up to that time of year. I'm thinking, do you want to stay within the uh, lower 48 or do you want to go uh, abroad? Get your passports up to date? Yeah. Yeah, they're all up today. Shots, yeah, everything. Um, yeah, you know that other little gig I have. All right, so I've got more fluids going through my system. Well, I'm sure I'm you, not catching anything. Well, you're Zika, catching something, maybe. I will. That's a sex. That's a, a sexually transmitted disease, buddy. <laughs> so you might have Zika. Just uh, saying. I don't want to divulge too much what your other gig is, but just stick to dudes. A lot of fluids. Uh <laughs> anywho. Well, well, well uh, but uh, so so H's stuff's uh, up to date. She's everybody's she's good to up. go. All everybody's right, up. All right. So let's she see. just got back from Haiti. Cold so weather. She's good. That's right. That's true. Cold weather. You go out west, or they have snakes. Well, they do, but on the mountains, only on the mountains. Do you want to go on the mountains? No. Okay. Are there snakes there? Well, yeah. No. Rattlesnakes. No. Dens of them. Rattlesnakes that are over ten feet long. Nope. Not yeah. Yet. Nope. Sorry to itch my head there. <laughs> my cat Through hat. your cat Let's see. Alps, you could you could meet a Sherpa. No, I don't want to go that far. Okay, all right. No. Germany, you've been there. Mm-hmm. Lovely country. <sighs> yeah, but mm, I don't think we're into the throes of Oktoberfest yet. That's true. I want That's true. to go to Oktoberfest. Do you know I invited Whitey to go to Oktoberfest? He turned you down? And he's Yeah, turned me down and said, maybe, maybe next year I got, he's because he already has some plan. He already has some thing. He's he doing. probably went to Amsterdam, did something more badass. No. At the same time, he probably just turned you down to go to a way cooler party at Oktoberfest whilst you were there. Yeah. And he was just in another part of the country. I was buying. One week trip. Bremen, Germany. And he turned it down? Turned it down. Cold. What an idiot. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> he sounds like a man that put it some thought he wanted to that. do something with his wife or uh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Relationships. <laughs> Dumb. Uh, I would have went. I would have. You didn't know me at the time. I wasn't even born no, yet, probably. No, I'm talking about now, 2016. Oh, this is the reason. <laughs> Next month. Oh, you didn't you didn't invite me then? No. You've got stuff. Listen, I can put everything on hold <laughs> for Oktoberfest, okay? All right? My All right. kid's going to be there when I get back, more oh. than likely. All right? Oh, I'm if working, not, you're not. I'm working young, out some stuff with it. Craigslist, okay? Yeah. But there's nothing been inked yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and you're not that used to him either way. Sure, because he's so yeah he's hasn't so changed young. my life that much. All right, so we've narrowed it down to Eastern Europe, potentially Canada. I was going to say, can't we just go to Canada? Sure. I hear that. Uh, what is it? Greenland. It's great this time of year. What about and that's the, super snowy. What about the Canadian side of the falls? I hear it's the better side. So, I mean, I don't know how that's true because it's in Canada, but. And ours is in America, but people say it's less tourist, touristry, touristy. Really? That's what they say. I've not been to the falls, so I can't tell you. I can't speak to that. Okay. That sounds like it could be fun. That's a thought. That sounds like it could be fun. If you're into water, you going to do the Maid of the Mist? Do they have that on the Canadian side? What I it, don't know that. What would they call it? The same thing, you think? Or is there a Canadian word for maid? The, yeah. Maiden of the Mist. Maiden of that's the Mist. What, if I was gonna, Maiden of the Mist, eh? <laughs> that's, if I were going to create a competing boat company, yeah. that would be it. <laughs> It'd have to be. You'd be like, come on, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> They'd be all pissed off. They'd love yeah. it. You didn't trademark that. Mm-hmm. I looked it up. You didn't TM that shit. But I did. I got a t-shirt and everything. <laughs> so you know it's legit. That's why I eat little Debras instead of little Debbies. <laughs> <laughs> You got to TM that. <laughs> got to TM that. Debbie, come on. Little Debbie, when she grows up, little Deborah. Or big, medium-sized Deborah. I don't know. Hey, you got your choice of news stories. 
No, no, no. We're not on to that yet. No? <laughs> okay. We still haven't even determined the most fun way to travel. I thought you were sending me by boat to, to Canada. Canada. <laughs> no. No, we're going to send you to Canada. It's got to be a train. Naturally. I would love to take a train trip. Canada's railway system is severely underrated. Really? That's what I hear. Hey. I'm not I'm not rode, you hoser. Strange brew. If you haven't checked it out, do yourself a favor. Yeah. Don't watch it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad flick. Where's it's that good. 1980s movie? Hey, there's some gems out there. One of my favorite movies of all time, Groundhog's Day. It's a great film. Bill Murray, classic. Mm. That's all you need, generally, to make a great 1980s comedy. Bill Murray. Boom. Look my it up. My wife hates that movie. Why? Absolutely hates it. Why? It's so funny. Just the premise, just the him well, waking yeah, that up would, every day. It's, well, that would it's suck. just irritating. That That's the whole point of yeah, it. Yeah, sure. That's what the auteur wanted to portray. Nice. You know, you like that? Well done. Yeah, film school. Well, well film corollary, but I don't want to split hairs. IMDb. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm going to say train to Canada, Niagara Falls. Boom, you're welcome. Welcome okay. to your fourth kid. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll do All that. right, let's move on. Let's move on. I have three news stories that I want to tease you with. Uh, you can pick mm. one, two, or all three. I want all three. We have the Black Pudding Festival. At least, at least. We have the Nasty Teacher, and we have Poop Science. I want at least Black Pudding and Poop Science for sure. Nasty okay. Teacher, I've heard a lot of those. Right. At least that I think. That one's pretty funny. At least nasty. I think. I want all three, though. If we can get through them. Okay. Where are we on well, time? Black We're Pudding. Good. Uh, we can Black do them pudding when we sounds come back. super racist. We can do them when we come back from break. Yeah, let's do a little. Let's do a little break. Let's let's tease. That's what we got. Black pudding, nasty teacher, poop science. When we come back. <laughs> okay. O'Brien Medicine. When you care about people, you create relationships, trust, and loyalty that no amount of money can buy. When you care about people you are truly making a difference in their lives. Better health and wellness through medical and alternative treatments makes our patients' lives better. O'Brien Medicine, offering same-day appointments and flexible scheduling to meet your needs. O'Brien Medicine, tailored treatment options including nutrition, exercise, and medical interventions. Find out more at obrienmedicine.com or call 614 344 Seven six zero one, O'Brien Medicine, home of the same day appointment. Hey, B teamers, this is Jim, letting you know that our quality all cotton pre shrunk tagless tea is now available in our store. From the beach to the boardroom, nothing says, Hey, look at me, I'm adequate, like a B team with Corey and Jim t shirt. So go to our website at point19productions.com and get you some. And could you drop a couple olives in it for me? Thanks, sugar. (laughs) Hey, y'all. I'm Rutherford Thurberson III. Do you like gin? Hell, me too. I come from a family of distillers who came over with the pilgrims. Now, I don't know if they were on the Tito, the Squanto, or the Hanna-Barbera. But I do know they brought with them the recipe for the world's finest gin. Thurberson's. It's stone aged. Because why does everything have to be so new? Please drink responsibly. Thurberson's. When you can't say it, stop drinking it. Hey boys, what's the ETA on that grilly chi? <laughs> And we're back with Pudding Del Negra. This year's... (laughs) That's the feminine, right? This year's World Black Pudding Throwing Championships, a more than 100-year-old tournament centered around hurling blood sausage, was won by the first thrower. The competition was held on Sunday in the northern English village of Ramsbottom, about 15 miles north of Manchester. Each contestant had three chances to knock as many six and a half pound Yorkshire puddings <laughs> off a plinth as possible by throwing black pudding at them. So you have to knock. 
your well no they're throwing the pudding yeah you have to throw the pudding and what are you knocking you're off? knocking off yorkshire puddings it says a six and a half pound yorkshire puddings with half. black pudding okay yeah apparently yeah, yeah. they don't like pudding gavin ogden a 50 year old from nearby ropedale yeah. was first to throw and took home the title by knocking down three puddings boom congratulations Is that a world gavin. record probably a world record the event draws thousands of people to the town and the tradition of pudding throwing dates to a battle in the 15th century War of the Roses. According to local lore, troops who ran out of ammunition resorted to throwing Yorkshire and black puddings at each other. British, man. <laughs> okay, no. Right, Yorkshire pudding <laughs> is a British dish consisting of baked batter. Black pudding is congealed pig's blood, fat, and rusk, encased in pig intestine. I'm going to read that one for you one yeah, more time. Fire that again. So you don't get your puddings confused when you go over. The Yorkshire pudding is a British dish consisting of baked batter. That now, sounds it's, delicious. But it's used, yeah, yes, it is delicious. That sounds tasty. Now, black pudding is congealed pig's blood, fat, and rusk encased in pig intestine. Now that sounds so better. So you, you toss one to knock the other off the plinth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got a couple of things. First of all, if I could go back in time and mm -hmm. and, and just um, choose the stories that I wanted to hear again, this one wouldn't make the list. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> however. <laughs> <laughs> however. However. The part about the troops who ran out of ammunition. Yes. Turned into apparently the biggest fairy festival time <laughs> because they started hurling pudding at each other. Why not just fist fight? In the it was fifteenth century. I, swords those were around. War of the Roses. That sounds like the lamest war I've ever heard of in my life. I'm not gonna lie to you. Pudding throwers, get out of here! Come on. It doesn't sound like much of a sport either. Get I. It's a reason. Nope. No. Wrong country. But. It's a, you know you know it's, it's like anything same. else. It's a reason to knock down a few pints. copious amounts of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody at that thing was sober. Babies Please. at that event mm. were hammered, guaranteed. You could BAC them. I I believe babies. Uh, another word for baby over there is plinth. So they were knocking puddings <laughs> off babies. Okay, people, <laughs> and there were plinth the of them. <laughs> yeah. No, nope. I'll be here. No, <laughs> that was nope. a stretch. I know. No, nope. that was horrible. Tip, tip your waitress. Tip your nurses. Yeah. A high school English teacher in Dunville, Ontario. That's Canada. Has been suspended for a month without pay after allegedly using words that would never appear on a vocabulary test. Okay. Jennifer Elizabeth Green Johnson was suspended in August from her post at Dunville Secondary School for allegedly saying to a student, Why don't you lick me where I fart? The Ontario Creative. College of Teachers, which licenses educators in the Canadian province, suspended her for a month without pay while it investigates the matter. According to the Brantford Ex Expositor? Expositor? Yeah. yeah. The teacher's rhetorical question became public knowledge this week when the OCT accused Green Johnson of two separate charges of swearing and vulgarity in the classroom, according to 640Toronto.com. Oh, nice. In March 2015, Green Johnson allegedly slapped a male student on the head and told him to grow some balls. Nice. Her employer, the Grand Erie District School Board, suspended her for one day without pay. Green Johnson is also accused of swearing at students during the school year, calling one a bloody pedophile <laughs> and telling another she looked like a frumpy old lady. In February, the school board suspended her for six days without pay for the incidents. These accusations come about a week after the OCT reported the findings of a previous investigation against Green Johnson in its professional magazine, according to the Canadian Broadcasting Company. According to a disciplinary report released in January, Green Johnson pleaded no contest to charges of abusing a student uh, verbally, physically, psychologically, or emotionally in incidents going back to 2011. Still employed. The report, yeah. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> I know. The report shows that Green Johnson admitted to calling students stupid, 
idiots, gay, and a bitch, according <laughs> just, to the Brantford Expositor. Just one a bitch. No. <laughs> no, just one, yeah. <laughs> Some of the more salacious findings include that she told a student who was carrying another student on his back, you look like it. So you like it from So behind. you like it from, oh man. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I would say. I was like, I'm not going to read that wrong. <laughs> You're about to have a stroke. She told a student who was carrying another student on his back, so you like it from behind and told one class while they were watching a film with nudity that it was impossible to see the actor's <laughs> penis without a microscope. She also accidentally hit a male student in his groin, yeah, accidentally, <laughs> while trying to stop two students who were swinging binders at each other. The OCT suspended Green Johnson for a month but made it retroactive to uh, coincide with the school board suspension from December 5th, 2011, to February 2nd, 2012. This was done to avoid additional disruption to her class, according to the Brantford Expositor. The newspaper asked school board official Scott Censorbox. That sounds like a poor name. About Green Johnson's case, but he said he could not address her case specifically. He did say that the board practices a progressive discipline process that ranges from conversations to verbal warnings up to termination. I need to make so many comments about this. <laughs> Number one. Well, I don't have you, a photo to show the folks. I don't even have a photo to show you right now. Right. But, um, yeah. Do you know uh, the movie Shrek? Sure. Do you know when the princess turns from beautiful princess into basically a, a you know, a, Fiona. a Shrek? Yeah. Into Fiona? Yeah. To, to an ogre. To, yeah, to an ogre. Yeah, that's what she. That's what we're that's working what with. Does like. she have the little antennae up here too? <laughs> yeah, she got something. I couldn't really focus on her. Well, too. okay. Let's just let me just let me just break this down for people who might not understand what's going on. Okay. okay. Yeah, that was a long story. I apologize. You have here the classic case of a teacher with so much talent that they can't just fire her. You know, regardless of the attitude issues. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. She produces. You know, if she you look must. at her graduation rate. It's easily in the 90s. They're not just going to let that walk out the door. In today's climate, there's no way. Where are you coming up with these numbers? I have. I, I researched this. Wow. She's famous, dude. Green Johnson? Yeah. Come on. First of all, her name sounds like she already plays for an NFL team. You know, but the kids, hyphenated. why would you even... I mean, she makes herself unapproachable. I don't know. Is she trying to be funny? Or is She's she trying hilarious. to make herself unapproachable because i'll tell you what the first time one of my little kids went up to her and said uh hey miss green johnson and she said what do you want now fuck bucket <laughs> we're we're gonna have a few words well she's not just gonna get half a day suspension that's that's the difference for you and me because i would have been mad at my child and been like you didn't have a comeback <laughs> First of all, these kids sound like a bunch of pussies. Like, she's clearly looking for some retaliation, you know, a little give and take. Because that's how I would have played it, you know. She calls me a pussy. I'd be like, well, all right, Fiona, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this, yeah. okay? I know you're filming the fifth Shrek movie, but I know you got time to do this. What's up? Well, she's clearly, if you, if you see the photo of her, pull the story up and uh, by her name. What's, what was that name? It's Jennifer Elizabeth Green Johnson yep. and Associates. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, look look that up and pull up images on that, and Attorney you'll say, law. "Oh, okay, now I know why she's pissed at the world." Okay, yeah. well, you well, sure, sure, yeah, um, that's awesome. But not kids. Come on, that's, that's awesome. awesome. That's a great oh. story. No, no, come on, man. Only in Canada, okay? <laughs> can you basically verbally abuse? children to the point where they just don't care. They're like, ah, well, we're not going to fire you. I was scared to death one time by a teacher. I, I never really had a mean teacher. I had I had, I had a couple that were on the extremely hot side. Yeah. Um, Which is awesome. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's really awesome. But I had one male teacher when I was like in fifth grade, sixth grade. And he was so scary because he was huge. I mean, he's probably half the size I right. am now. But, but you know. It, Fifth grade, kid, you're like, he's a gigantic he was huge human being. And he had a mustache. Oh, and, Yeah, scarier. and this was a 70s mustache, too. The best because kind. It, because it was, you know, the 70s. And 
he uh we were having a um what do you call it when you go to the gym and things happen up on the stage and everybody uh, uh what do you call it not a collective what do you have i'm thinking of uh, i'm thinking of uh of the hunger games all of a sudden <laughs> do, 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 putting up three fingers no it a uh, assembly there you go an assembly yeah, yeah, in the gym yeah, yeah okay and um collective <laughs> You guys going to go murder all the Jews? What is this? What is this? So, yeah, he leaned down in front. Because me and a buddy, we were, I'll tell you exactly what we were doing, okay? Mm-hmm. I was making my buddy laugh <laughs> because I said, these steel chairs, because it was those steel foot right. chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, these steel chairs, if you sit in them just right and you fart, you can make them <laughs> ring for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> so that made him laugh. Really hard. So <laughs> I'll just call him Mr. S. He came up to us and he leaned out. And there were parents there. There were parents behind us. I was sitting in the, in the front row. He he leaned out in front of us and he put this smile. He said, see my face? And we were like, we didn't say anything. We were just like nodding our head. He said, right now I'm smiling. But Monday I'm not going to be smiling when you come to see me in my class first thing in the morning so as a little kid you take that home with you yeah all weekend because that was like the first threat i had ever received from somebody other than my dad you know yeah. so i was i was scared to death you I thought you were gonna get death. stabbed fifth grade too that's bold and then the story about the hot drama teacher is just a whole different that's whole she was she's super hot yeah, and she and was like, dramatic like, like She's only like She's three one of those years thespians. older than us. I was in high school, mm-hmm. and she was only like three years, old, four years older than us. At how the many? Most. How many? Yeah. How yeah. many? Yep. Uh, yep. Statutory rapes could we go back to then? Huh? <laughs> huh? Let's put. Let's let's well, hit. Let's hit the rolodex. Let's make some calls. No, let's not. Let's do some investigatory She's work. Very very nice lady. I bet she very was. Nice. I bet she. Was. Oh, I have another story for you. I don't see it here. Poop science, though. Hmm. Give me the gist. Give me the glove dots. Hmm. <laughs> Give me the bullet points. Hmm. Go. Hmm. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I thought I had poop science up there. Oh, it's there. Just I know you. Come on, come on. What do you got? Because I got my. I got a little poop science in my own. Well, they apparently there's been a study done where they you know your uh, astrological sign. So like uh, they can tell what Taurus, you, yeah, mine's Taurus. Okay, then you it's the best one. Then they they could nail down just by you telling them a Taurus, like the time of day that you poop, consistency of. There's yeah. no way on earth. Well, that nope. You can't lock me. Down. You can't put me in a box. I wish I had the story. I don't you know why I didn't. You tell it. me. You find. You email me after the show. Mm-hmm. You tell me this company. They're gonna get a scathing review, and I and I'm gonna With I'm photos. gonna challenge them. I am gonna challenge them to. Uh, Try to poo science me. I'm going to throw it right in their face. Nice. Yeah. Harembe style. Harembe style. See how we brought it back? Poor little Boom. Up. Uh. Dicks out. For Harembe. For Harembe. We got some emails? I do have emails. Let's fire them up. If you'd like to talk about I'm them. so, dude, last time we didn't get emails. <clears throat> nope. I'm excited for emails today. I was a little disappointed. Of the show I wasn't here, you started off the emails. Totally break the show uh, synergy right, yeah. right off the bat. Yeah. Then well, I come then, back to the next show. There's not an email to be seen. So I don't know if you're trying to hurt my feelings or I was just saving just cut up. me deeply. Saving up. Well, let's I do didn't it. I want to do emails without you on the Dusty Ace Day. You did. You did it right in my face. Influx says, you guys are pretty funny. Is there any subject you won't talk about? Keep it coming. Love you guys. Anything we won't talk about? We do we have any taboos? It depends. Uh, we won't talk about depends. We will not talk about. I'll talk about depends. Wait, listen. There's an epidemic of uh, adult uh, bedwetting. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Or just sure there is. public urination in general. Sure, there is. With their pants on. Depends are crucial, crucial to the inner workings of the American uh, public. Do you know what I found out that I was really surprised about? Go. How many girls will pee a little bit when they're laughing really hard? I think that's more common than yeah. most people realize. Yeah. Because they say it all the time. Yeah, they say it. And I always thought it was just a Like a joke. Thing. Yeah, like a thing. Like, oh, I laughed so hard that it made me pee a little. Ha, yeah. ha, ha. That was a joke. But 
you're probably right. It's probably yeah. a little truth truth bomb right there. Yeah. That's my new goal then. Every female I meet, I'm going to try to make them pee. I like that. Pee challenge. TM. T-shirt that. Hashtag it. Pound sign. Mm-hmm. Ah, taboos though. Hmm. Unless it's something super creepy or weird. But speaking of which, let's talk about necrophilia. Let's, nope. let's touch base on that one for a bit. What do you think? No. Maybe Halloween show. No. So that's a better. I'm going to bring that in on the Halloween show. I'm going to tease it now. Necrophilia pedophilia. Yeah. Okay. I would not talk about that ever. With a 20-foot pole, no. let alone a 10. No, I would not breach the subject, ma'am. No. Could you imagine? Nope. I'm not going to either. So there's a, get out of my head. There is a limit to what we'll, yeah. we will talk about. Yeah. This is a family show anyway, you know. Yeah. So it's not like we cuss or anything or talk about any weird stuff. So well, we'll keep it pretty uh, PG. Mm-hmm. When it comes to we're that. homophobic. We're racist. Yeah. We uh, are. What are we? All? We are. We're necrophilia enthusiasts. Arachnophobic. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, snakeophobic. I don't mm-hmm. know what what else. How else? To, <laughs> No, that's it. To coin that, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not a scientist. I I skipped that class. Uh, Slytherinophobic. Nice. Because that bring in the in. Potter. Boom. Thanks. Beautiful. Thank you, man. Let me give you a tiny clap mm-hmm. over here. Thank you. I don't want to disrupt the show. Very nice. Now, is that a Quidditch clap? No, they're raucous. Quidditch fans are like the reason they're worse than soccer fans, man. They're they're separated into their own little uh, boxes. So they can't really? they can't uh, fornicate with the other fans. Ooh. So like you know the soccer fa- the soccer hooligans wouldn't have a chance. Not a not a prayer. First of all, they're not bringing any weapons to the fight. Okay, uh, Quidditch fans, they're bringing uh, bludgers, which are clubs, mm-hmm. brooms, which can be fashioned into a bow staff. Okay. Yeah. I mean that's a whole lot of ass whooping coming your way. Plus they do magic. So if. A soccer fan is called a hooligan. A Quidditch fan would be a cooligan. I don't know. Wow. Well, TM that. But Next. no, no. no. You don't like that? No. What's the matter with you? That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful name. Mythosity says, "If what? I lived in the old days, I don't think I could hit a horse with one of those whips. I think they're called crops. But have you ever hit an animal with a whip?" Do you nice. whip your children? Nice. Good Do you enjoy age. Cool Whip? I love Cool Whip. I listen to your shows over and over. You should put out a show every day. Calm down. Yeah. Mythosity or whatever your name is. Mythosity. I don't have time for that. Okay. I would love to put mm-hmm. out a show every day. If this is our full time job, mm-hmm. it'd be great. Uh, the problem is uh, it brings in roughly $0. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, granted, we're swimming in the granted, zeros. We're still holding on. To, we're saving uh, that Pepsi, Pepsi Max money we've been getting. All those yeah. checks that keep coming in. Yeah, uh, that's our nest egg, though. Mm-hmm. You know, in case something <laughs> goes crazy, crazy awry, and we lose, uh, we're losing our arses, if you will. That's 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 our fallback money. Sure, it is right there. You know, yeah. we don't we don't invest that because it's stupid to invest your money. Mm-hmm. Don't don't listen to. Uh, Chuck Schwab, whatever his name is, Please. he is always talking about. Uh, I like Cool Whip. Spend it, you'll make more. Yeah, that's that's always been my view on money. That's what Blow all the, it. That's what all the rich people say. Yeah, you got to have it to get it. Yeah, spend it to make it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, that's just science. But what else? What else? Uh, I've not ever struck a horse with a whip. I nor fisticuffs have I. for sure. I've punched plenty of horses, mm-hmm. and I love it. Every mm-hmm. time I do it, it makes me so excited to punch another one. Right in the big furry nose they have. You don't really have to do anything to a horse because those idiots, they'll cause themselves some type of problem. I went to a fair once, and it was the big, huge draft horses. You know, those huge the giant, monkeys. Like they're, the like two, are, they're like two horses in one. They're back. Maybe is, three. It's like higher than my head. And yeah, I'm what? I'm, 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 they're I'm horrifying. near seven feet. They're horrifying. Yeah. You're, you, yeah, you're, you're the... Uh, Closest thing to Hagrid from we're, we're yes. standing on Harry Potter <laughs> as we can get. Yes. And this thing, and they had it in a stall, and there was not, there's not three inches on each side of the stall because this horse is so huge. Okay. Right. I, I went through and saw him one time. 
He was big and huge. And I was like, wow, that thing would rip a vein out of my neck and kill me in one second. One bite. And then I went around, made a round and, and came back like probably two hours later. Cause that's all there is to do at affairs. Right. Yeah, yeah. While you're eating your you know, fried foods, man. Yep. So I go back in and in that stall, I'm not joking in that stall that he had no room. He couldn't turn around cause they had him clipped onto the front. He was facing you know the other way, wasn't he? No, he was upside down, feet up. <laughs> this horse was tits up in this in this tiny little stall. This humongous was it horse. Dead? He, no, was he it wasn't dead? dead. He was giving me. He was laying on the ground, giving me that great big horse eye. You know where they just yeah. look at you with that one. Like, <laughs> and he was foaming, foaming, and he was just mad. And he was, he was probably he having kicked, a seizure. He had kicked this wall so much. I mean, I was like, how. Has he not destroyed that wooden wall, you know, between him and the other horse? It was it was unbelievable. So I called somebody and I said, should should there should, you know, he should be we dying? be worried? Should we be worried about this? Should I let somebody know? And I told him about it, and it wasn't no joke. It wasn't thirty seconds. Somebody with pajamas showed up, running. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get this done. We got we and they started calling people, and more people started showing up. And they got him straightened Flipped up. over? Yeah. But, I mean, just the logistics of that, the way he was, he was upside down. He was clipped to the front of the thing. That was like holding his head right. up in the air. Right. But his back, you know, was on the ground and his legs were wonder, straight up in the air. I wonder what happened. He, he probably season out, man. It's not like he was having a seizure. Man, I don't know. He was mad, though. Well, sure, man. He's he seasoned out, bro. And he's a huge horse. Well, they sleep standing up, you know. But, no, I, I don't make – I don't know where – um mythosity came up with this email. I don't know if it was just to be funny using the word whip, whip. like you do. Whip. I think they were just, this might have been a little tip of the hat to you. Um, but Maybe. No, I don't make a habit of hurting animals. I love that anyway. WH, man. That's the best. Yeah. Whip Can't white. It. <laughs> Whimsical wheel, you know, whatever. Lacey Susan. Lacey Susan. Ooh. Says, Ooh. yep. My boyfriend wants me to wear pumps. Mm-hmm. Hello now. Hold hey, on. easy. Give Don't a, pump the brakes. Drop me a little uh, beat there, if you would. <laughs> what in the hell are pumps, <laughs> says Lacey Susan. <laughs> I didn't want to sound stupid in front of him, so I thought I'd ask you guys. Does it have something to do with boobs? Your show is great, and I always listen while I'm doing homework. Go mites. Go mites. I don't know. I don't know. Who That's not likes. a woman, then. That's not a woman that emailed that. My boyfriend. That's right. a. That, I think that's a gay man. Okay. That's my first oh, assessment. Wait. I that's wouldn't my, want a dude to wear pumps. What his boyfriend does. A woman would know what pumps are. Wait a minute. My boyfriend wants me to wear pumps. What, what in the, the hell, hell are, are pumps? pumps? He doesn't know what pumps are. I didn't want to sound stupid in front of him, so I thought I'd ask you guys. Does it have something to do with boobs? Your show. Do girls call their boobs boobs? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. That one throws your, me. Your show is great, and I always listen while I'm doing homework. Yeah, nothing. There's nothing there. Nothing gender specific in that one. Gil mites. I don't know, uh, man. Well, Lacey Susan. Well, I mean, it could be. It could be one of those, uh, you know, gender identity things. It could be a transitioning a thing. It could be. I don't know. Okay. It sounds because to me it sounds a little weird because as a as a as a woman you would. I would have well, let me just let me just say this. Let me just say this. Could be like a Tom boy uh Tom boy, right? That's the girl version. Not Tom girl. Is that before they had the surgery? Tom boy. Girl kind of thing. Where they don't wear a lot of dress clothes or shoes. Yeah. Or something. Could be yeah. that. A lot of farm um, girls out here that sure, are like that. Sure. I would assume though they know what pumps are. Do you know that my wife has never worn makeup? Never. Once she does, she has no idea how to apply it. Would not have a clue. Well, hey. Some people don't need it. You know what I mean? I personally personally think that women uh, usually, I don't know what it is, but I think women usually look better, or some uh, look better without makeup. Yeah. But I find, I personally find that it is a, the true mark of beauty in a female. If you can look attractive by, let's say, most standards, yeah. because everybody, it's subjective, right? Right. Without makeup, then I think that you're truly, you know, attractive or pretty person. Pretty female. But if you have to put on like pounds of makeup yeah. to cover up something or you're trying to do 
whatever. You've seen those. Have you seen those like YouTube makeup I've seen videos? Those videos where, where like you she could doesn't do, even look. It's well, yeah. my my wife was showing me these photos the other day. It's so funny you mentioned this that it was side by sides of these girls with makeup on, and then what they look like without it on. It's two completely different people. Completely different. It's like going. It's like you're going to go to the guitar store and you yeah. buy a guitar. Yeah. And then you bring it home and spray water on it for some reason, and it's a mm-hmm. violin. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was. Yeah. That's that I'm was sure stupid. That was, you put that one together. What I, I mean, yeah. that was spur of you the moment. Throw some so flares it was, down. It was pretty. Until you finish yeah, that. Yeah. You know what? Go ahead and call the coroner. Yeah. We're going to need to check the body on that because it's burnt to a crisp. Anyway, that one throws L- Lacey, me. whatever you might be, uh, pumps are shoes. And I can High tell heels. you because they were my favorite right. back. Right. And they're closed toed. The most right. important yeah. part of this. <laughs> well, for the you, The most yes. important you. part of this is to understand that they are closed toed. But that's how you get that's shoes. how you get the hammer toe, I feel like. No, man. I think so. Well, it's, it's going to be hidden, so I don't care. Well, I bet, I never yeah, see it. but what if things go your way and those things get kicked Keep off in the on. heat of battle? Leave them on. Well, you say yeah, that until you take a pump heel. Have to you the ever guards. seen one of the, the the sexy girl magazines? One of the little woohoo, look at me. Yeah, um, they have what you're referring on. to is Playboy. Yeah, mm-hmm. they have yeah. they kept their pumps on. Yeah, I think that well because that does something for the arse. You know what I mean. Pumps yeah. it up a bit. My wife has never heard of a teddy. Oh, yeah. Do you know what a teddy yeah. is? Mm-hmm. She didn't know what that was. I'm fond. I'm fond of those. As you can tell, I'm shopping for this trip. We're getting ready to go Sure. On. Just give her the Michael Scott line, man, that yeah. you that you find a woman at her most beautiful when she's wearing absolutely nothing. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's classic, man. That's a classic line. My very favorite. Episode is when Michael invite Michael's living with Jan. Yeah, and he invites the people over dinner party. For a little dinner party, <laughs> and he has that little TV, a little flat screen, <laughs> and she breaks it with a Dundee. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think he yells it was three hundred or four hundred dollars, something like that. Two hundred and something, I think. I think so. It was yeah. a small amount of money because for it was HD or something. It yeah, was, yeah. Sometimes I just stand here and just watch it's it. Plasma. Yeah, I stand for here. hours. It's like, something like that. I just stand here for hours. <laughs> yeah, man, that dude is that, that show in general <sighs> is clutch. Some people give a bad rap to when he left to the episodes after he left. Nah, dude, no. they're solid. There's some the good stuff in was there. Good. If you yeah, if you haven't if you if you packed it in when uh, uh, Carell left the show. Go back and rewatch yeah. uh, the episodes he's not in. They're solid. Sure, they are. The dude they brought in—I don't remember his name. Uh, he's the voice of like uh, uh, Ultron on, on the Avengers, uh, the new Avengers movie. Uh, he brought—they brought him in. That dude's pretty funny. He, not in the have... sense of, you know, awkward Carell stuff, but he's a funny dude. I'm trying to think of the other. They brought in a British he chick too. A, That's solid. Yeah, we said '80s, kind of an '80s star. That guy was back in the way back. You know what I'm talking the about the one that was the, that was odd. They went to his house and they went swimming. Yes, yeah, yeah that's, that. that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. He was I an. Cannot a- think of his name. Yeah, yeah he was a big star in the '80s. Yeah, yeah. Cause I would have figured he would be fairly famous, but to bring him on the show, yeah, you know, kind of like a big reveal because it was a big deal for the to find the replacement. They brought on a lot of people for the episode that yeah. they were looking for his replacement, Jim Carrey. Sure. Uh, oh, whoa. Yeah. Now Ray Romano. They brought him mm-hmm. on. Um, guy that voices Batman in the Lego movie, Will Arnett, running yeah. on. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he's known I'm for. Batman. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So, but then they brought him on. I was like, I don't know who this guy is, but he was fairly solid. I'm pretty good. I'll look it up while we're. I just, I, I, I can't think of the name. I wish I could pull it out. I'll find it while we're bringing yes, up our next uh, talking point here. Well, what I would like to talk about as our next talking point. Oh, that's that's it for the emails. By the way, that was our three emails. It's a resap. On the emails. Shane Smith, fan, listener, friend. Genius. Genius, some might say. I'll say it. I'll be the one <laughs> some to say, champion his story. Some say genius. Some say over-medicated. James Spader. 
James Sorry. Spader. There he That's is. That's the guy. Yeah. Look him up. Yeah, give he was a, all, give him a shout all out. those pretty and pigs. He he usually played the bad, the oh, rich yes. kid. Yeah. He would he would play the rich kid. He seems like he, he's an awesome villain, man. Yep. No he doubt. Is. No doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shane is awesome. That dude is. Um, he's like he's like Kim. Just just two dudes that Kim Denty that uh, have basically helped. They support. Uh, yeah, so yeah, support much. our show. So much. Massive amounts. Yep. Massive amounts. More than we deserve. For sure. For sure. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. We're not we're not bringing anything special to the table. And I I don't have his particular um, YouTube site. Shane's? I don't have all that. Yeah, I don't have all the numbers and letters for that. But you can catch him on on our stuff. If you if you go to our Facebook page. We constantly like and share his stuff because he he yeah. uh, is a big proponent. Plus, he tags the B team and Point Nineteen yeah, Productions does. and all this stuff. So, if you like our stuff, you'll see his stuff, and it's mm-hmm. and it's solid. Yeah, it's wacky. That one he did last night with the, the with the wig, yeah, the Blair Witch, yeah. I think spoof. Yeah, yeah, pretty solid. <laughs> it's pretty solid. Good stuff. So, this is just a little bit of a shout out to th- uh, to thank you, Shane, Shane, to thank him and. Wish him the very best. We need to have, dude, uh, uh, let's just, I'm going to tease it now to lock us into it so we have to do it eventually. Okay. Uh, we need to have like a fan show or like a like a Ooh. supporter show where we bring them on. I like that. I'm just saying, it, no, I, it would be I fun. Like that that would be a fun show. Yeah, it would. I think. Have a couple of other other uh, voices in the in the show. We could talk about fun stuff. Can what I tell you where, where my worries are in that? Go. They are going to be surprised at one of two things when they walk in the studio. They are going to be surprised at how old I am and or how fat I am. Well, once the initial shock of that wears off. I sound. First of all, get them I sound in, gorgeous. Getting them into the rape den. Yeah. Which hopefully oh, just hopefully by the there. time we do that particular episode, the new yeah. studio will be done. Yeah. And it won't be so rapey. Uh, yeah, that's once we get them past all of that and then we're like, Hey, this is not roofied this, this drink. You can drink that. Yeah. We have to make it in front of them. But they'll be like, how do I know that you didn't roofie the ingredients before we got here? It'll be a whole thing. But once we get them to, to sit down this and, and calm down a little bit, then yeah, then we'll have to work them through the initial shock of be like, wow, you are a lot older and fatter than I yeah, thought. Yeah. You sound like a, like a young, thin version of Tom Selleck back in the day. I do. They can tell you have a mustache and a beard right now. Sure. I mean, that comes through in the voice. If you don't think it does, yeah. check out some earlier episodes when you're shaved. Yeah. You can tell the difference. I've become wiser. Maybe I, I can because I spend so much time with you. I think that's... Yeah. I think the more you rub it, the wiser you become. Mm, and the thicker it gets, too. Yeah. It, gets, it just thickens right up. Yeah. Something and it's got a nice sheen. Crusty and hard. Sheen. To, well, hard. Not so much crusty. After yeah. the fact. If you let it sit a while, yeah, for sure it'll Wait, are we talking up. about beards? I was. Okay. okay. All right. I just needed yeah. to. I we got to clarify. Check mark that one. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Well, tell these folks how they can get to us and let's, uh, to put it in your vernacular, wrap this bitch up, I believe. Well, we usually say. as we say every time. Go to point19productions.com to see our website, point19productions at gmail.com to reach out via email or via email, however you want to say it, tomato, potato. You can also find us on Stitcher, iTunes, and SoundCloud. And I found out a little a little to do about um, iTunes. Not only would we like you to subscribe to the show, uh, but rate the show as well. Because oh. that my friends, is how iTunes pushes certain shows. So if it gets good ratings, then it will jump higher up on iTunes charts. Uh, vis-a-vis, we get more listeners. So be a ratist. Rate. Be the biggest ratist that you yeah. can be. Get out there Please. and just start clicking stars. Yeah. You know, touch them in their happy zones. And all I ask you to do is love somebody. Somebody. <laughs>